So I've told you what sickle cell anemia is, how it's passed on to you by your parents, and which group of people are more at risk. But what are the symptoms and complications of sickle cell anemia? We know that sickled red blood cells don't live as long as healthy red blood cells, and they can clump together because of their stickiness, blocking the flow of blood in your body. Red blood cells' main job is to carry oxygen from the lungs to the tissues in the body. If there aren't enough red blood cells carrying oxygen, or if blockages keep the blood from getting to your organs, your organs might not get the oxygen they need to work the way they should. This is why you get the horrible symptoms of sickle cell anemia. Symptoms can appear anywhere between early childhood and early adulthood, and not everyone has all of the symptoms, but they commonly include fatigue caused by anemia or pain and swelling if sickle cells get stuck somewhere. What's more, less oxygen in your body can lead to difficulty breathing, stunted growth, delayed puberty, loss of vision, or leg ulcers. And finally, complications of sickle cell anemia that may not have obvious symptoms include inflammation, stroke, infections, heart disease, high blood pressure, enlarged spleen, gallstones, kidney disease, loss of bone tissue, and even shortened life expectancy. Talk to a healthcare provider that you trust to learn more about the symptoms and complications of sickle cell anemia.